Welcome back, everybody. Drew Weston, your trusted advisor with MCA, here with Queen Trend from Axis Communications. Uh, I know it's been a busy week for you. you oh, had, yeah. uh, you were part of the keynote yesterday, so that was really cool to see yeah. that. Tell me a little more about kind of what y'all are doing with AI and looking at more data intelligence, not just the video side of things. Yeah, no, I think uh, the industry is at a very pivotal shift and change right now. I think all the advancements in AI when it comes to the security industry, uh, object detection, I think that's the new baseline. Yes. Yeah, so absolutely. no longer will people be out of surprised or impressed with object detection of people and vehicles. I think everybody's going to have that. So you need to go and zoom that lens out more to see what actually is going to be insightful for mm -hmm. the customers. And that's going to be understanding the overall uh, insights of what a scene is. So Absolutely. going back to the old days of when we went from analog to digital, people, you know, the, everybody says a picture's worth a thousand words, right? And I think that's where we're heading is that there's so much insight to gather from an image yeah. that- That the, metadata stream is super valuable. Exactly, and, and the, the customer now is gonna be able to have that type of insight and that type of promise that we were thinking about even two decades ago, right? right? And, and now it's more about metadata, it's about context, it's about bringing that information so that a, a, an experienced uh, you know, security person that can use their intuition and go, hey, here's an issue we need to resolve. Well, and not just from a security application, but taking that metadata and using it for operational functions, marketing functions, oh, yeah. environmental ha health and safety, yeah. whatever else. But again, that metadata is still capturing all of that in the scene. Exactly. You may also be running perimeter defender yeah. looking for somebody violating, but it's also capturing all that other data. That, yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. and the great thing about that metadata is it's kilobits. So it's not bandwidth intensive like video. So if you're looking to just understand occupancy flow, that could be kilobits of data in real time that you're able to see and only look at maybe anomalies, right? right. Like if you're in a trade show like our environment, you can see hotspots, but you can also see bottlenecks. And you can also now have anchors or tags to those incidences where you can actually retrieve video and validate what that incident is. So I think that's becoming very proactive. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. And I know one of the things that's on the wall right behind me, uh, you've got the AV1 compression, oh, yeah. which talking about kilobits, obviously we're not gonna get down to kilobits, no. but significant I, I was looking at some of the, the data what's the savings you're getting against regular h.265 even when you're running some of the other compression functions you got oh yeah I, I think it's it's very varying because the way the compression works is it's very dynamic based on the scene but i can say you can look at anywhere between 25 to always up to 50 percent wow so it's it's a very uh you know um a good technology and it the great thing about AV1 is it's adopted and it's standardized by a lot of tech companies. Right. And that's that's very helpful because I think in the security industry, we're always looking for standards. And a lot of times these standards don't adapt well to the security space, but I think AV1 in this case really does. And that's gonna open up the doors for better image quality, better types of information, insightful information from the metadata. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.